If you have spent a day in heels, your feet are probably killing you when you get home or, or they're numb. That's kind of what happens to me, but uh, we are here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way. I know nothing about this subject, but one local company is designing heels with comfort in mind. So Jamie is at Protégé Footwear for today's local love. Hey, Jamie. Hey guys, good morning. You know, that movie was just on. I just saw that movie recently. I gotta tell you, you know, walking through Old Town Scottsdale back in the day, uh, a lot of us would end up maybe in something like this. This is how I go through my reporting day. I bring the high heels with me. Uh, and Candace, well, she also found it challenging to go all night in the high heel without being in pain. She said, I can meet this challenge. Folks said, no, you can't. She's got the shoe to prove she can. So I want to introduce you to Candace because uh, you studied mechanical engineering at MIT. Yes, that's my background. Uh, and now you're a shoe designer. <laughs> Tell me about what's in front of us right here and how you came up with a way to meet this need. So I was out one night in Old Town and after yeah. a night of dancing, my yeah. feet really, really hurt. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this has got to stop. Why are high heels still uncomfortable? Like I've heard that complaint, like, oh, my feet hurt, my feet hurt from just about every one of my girlfriends. Um, so I pretty much set out to solve that problem. Yeah. I locked myself in my room for maybe two years and just took apart heels, was prototyping. And then finally, two years later, came up with this. So what is this? First thing I notice is you have something between the, the toes here. So what does that do for us? Yes, so basically um, a common problem is that with this two strap design, uh -huh your foot will start sliding through and then it'll put more pressure as you slide through. So this is kind of like what you see um, that prevents your foot from sliding too far forward. So it really locks your foot in place and allows you to be more stable. So it stabilizes you. I also have a couple, uh, we have a casting. Yes. Whose foot is this and that, what do you have going on here? <laughs> that is actually a replica of my foot. Uh -huh. So when I was prototyping, I would have to crouch down a lot and take pictures in this really awkward yes. position of my own foot. And at a certain point in time, I was just tired of doing that. So yeah. I casted my own foot. <laughs> yes, not weird at all. Just <laughs> not weird right? at all. Uh, I was actually joking about selling copies of this. Uh, you never know. Funding, but yeah. ultimately, you know, decided not you to didn't. do that. Yeah, you never know. Right. Okay, so what is this right here then? This and was the. This is an early prototype. Okay. So okay. I. I was really, really picky uh -huh. about having the design still retain its sleekness and yeah. a aesthetic while being comfortable. So this is one of the early 3D prints. And then how high is this heel? It's about 4.3 inches. Oh. Yeah. But it feels like a 3.5 inch wedge from the design. <laughs> a wedge. Okay, well the magic word is wedge. Uh, I know you guys want to see this shoe in action. So when I see you again in the next hour, we're going to race <laughs> Old Town Scottsdale. <laughs> yeah, me and Candace, we're taking on the challenge. <laughs> Will we make it from bottled blonde to the W? Will there wow. be fashion roadkill on the sidewalk? <laughs> we don't know. You've got to stay tuned to find out. And I can't wait to put on this shoe. We're not looking away. No way. Thanks, Jamie. That's funny. <laughs>